It's basketball time here again at FAMU. The season is now underway, and there are some new personnel changes on the bench. FAMU alum Clement Johnson will be coaching the Rattlers this year. He has also hired his son, Chad Johnson, to be an assistant coach. Chad, I've been kind of training Chad ever since Chad was born and followed me through the NBA. When I say training, meaning this, uh, as I learned basketball, I taught Chad. Um, as Chad was growing up when I was in the NBA and he became of age, let's say six, seven years old, we'll sit down and watch a basketball game and I'll break down the ins and out of what was going on in the game. Coach Johnson is confident in the knowledge that his son has in the game. He feels he knows the X's and O's pretty well. But Chad feels there's an extra element that separates him from the rest of the coaching staff. He knows I have his best interest at heart. Not saying that other coaches don't, but he knows that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, where he goes, I'm, I'm going to follow from now on. Basketball is not the only program here to have this father and son duo. Coach Joe Taylor has also brought along his son, Aaron Taylor, as a running back coach for the Rattler football team. Athletic director Derek Horn says coaches need to have people on their staff that they can trust. So whoever they bring in, he will support them. This season, Coach Clement Johnson and his son Chad hope that the results will be nothing but net. For FAMU TV 20, I'm Scott Brooks. The city of Tallahassee is filled with construction. It's hard to drive around the city without a lane being closed or a detour being posted. The citizens of Tallahassee are feeling the effects of this amount of construction. There is a lot of construction going on and I mean you don't really find out about it until you're kind of in the route of driving and then they have these detours all around the city. Actually yesterday I was coming from lunch and I took a long detour by, um, well off Appalachia and I'm like wow. Even though the citizens see construction as more traffic delays and longer commutes, construction workers see it as more jobs and much needed improvement for the city. Emmanuel Paul assistant superintendent of the construction management department of Baycrest Corporation speaks. With the amount of work that's going on now, it's only, it's only beneficial to the city and beneficial to pre persons like myself that's within the, the industry itself. Um, Tallahassee is taking the initiative to somewhat catch up to some of the major cities within the state. Tomorrow, the work on Gain Street will switch lanes. Westbound drivers will use the south lane while work is done on the north lane. This is one of the improvements planned for the city. A new park and other small projects are also being completed. The improvements aim for wider roads and for commuters and more tourist attractions for travelers. The city of Tallahassee hopes its citizens will bear with the traffic delays and all the construction because the end results will be worth it. For News 20 at 5, I'm Scott Brooks. Every parent is concerned about their child or their child's friends using drugs. But a recent survey shows that drug use among middle and high school children has decreased since 2010. This pleases parents. I'm extremely excited about the child drug rate de de decreasing. Um, I think it is definitely due in part to some of the programs that we have in town, namely uh, the Boys and Girls Club of the Big Ben and some of the other school programs like, like D.A.R.E. that are definitely helping to keep the kids off, off, off drugs. The use of drugs amongst these kids is now under 10%. Even though the use of alcohol has dropped as well, it is still around 50% for high school children. Programs such as the Boys and Girls Club offer services to give kids a positive alternative. Boys and Girls Club is a nonprofit organization that serves kids from 5 to 18. Um, we have an after school program and as well as an all day summer program. We focus on five main areas um, one being education and career development, two, character and life skills. Um, three, health and life skills, four, sports and recreation, five, the arts. Other programs that offer similar services to these include recreational gyms, church youth centers, and Big Brothers Big Sisters of America. With programs such as the Boys and Girls Club, parents hope that child drug use will continue to decrease. For News 20 at 5, I'm Scott Brooks.